Holy crap! <laughs> I hadn't had a chance to get it off the bottom for Happy Pants there took it. What is that? Is that a sea bass? I think it might be a sea bass. Fairly decent sea bass. Come on. Oh, you're gonna be a butt, huh? Hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. Been a little while since I've been in the game. There's been a lot of things going on. Between the holiday events for Halloween and real life stuff, just haven't had much time to come back to this. Now before I had uh, left the game, I did go off screen and do a little bit of fishing at Keel Canal that was in a different location than last time and in this location it's actually in the North Sea I believe because it looks like the ocean but you couldn't access it when this map was originally created they've done some expansions onto it so now there's like three or four maybe five pegs I'm not sure I have to look again but let me go ahead and jump in here Alright, took a little bit of time to jump in here, so I don't know if they've made any improvements since last time or not, but it does look pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm on the other side, like I said. Let me see here. Yeah, no, I'm actually back here. I think they just made some more improvements in the look of the game. There's a lot more places to go now. Yeah, when I first came in here, you could go to like 2, 3, and 4. That was it. Now you can go all the way over here to which looks like an island and then over here is a beach and over here I don't even know what's over here to be honest it's seven six no idea but I think what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and go to one yeah this is definitely the ocean without a doubt and what I liked about this is that you can actually walk out into the water in fish from quite a ways into the water. You could do that at Panas Bay on the original original Ultimate Fishing Simulator. But we can get some seriously cool different types of species right here. I have to see what we've got available to us. Now let's see here. I have... I don't even remember what I had on my, my stuff. I had the Sucus Blade. That's right. I think we are going to probably do some some lure fishing. We got two of the Sucus blades. We've got some bugs. This Robinson trophy. There's quite a few here we could give a try, but I'm gonna try this Sucus blade right off the bat here just to see what might be attracted out here. We never know here. And I've not tried any float fishing so far in Keel Canal. to any serious extent alright let's go ahead and check the underwater camera here I think that should do it here now I've got the speed at 20 which has been what I've been using now I see a fish don't know what kind of fish it is but I'm keeping it in the green which is good What in the world? Ooh, we got us a... Yep, we got us a sturgeon. Looks like we got quite a few sturgeon going on. Whole lot of sturgeon going on. Let's see here. Okay, he, ooh. Holy crap. What the hell? He must have been really big. Look at my... Look at my rod. Oh... 
Yeah, according to Jimmy, he breaks rods all the time, so that's not unusual. I'm going to have to see what I've got on my setup here. Let's see, I've got 7.05 pound. No wonder. Got fairly low test there. Let's see. You can repair them, though. I think it costs you a little bit of money. Let's see. Let's see. Carp tech feeder. Let's see. That's what's equipped. I'm not sure how you fix it. Rod damage. I know that. There is a way. I've done it before. I had to fix something else. Okay. The, the, it says to repair this, so apparently I, re I broke the reel, not the rod. Even though the rod looked like a, it was a bent all out of shape. Let's see. Let's continue using this test. Alright guys, I all right, guys, I do apologize. It's like I said, it's been a while since I played, and I had forgotten that I got that uh, that special thing that you can get from the shop. It's a package deal. Uh, let's see, it's under fishing sets. It's the spinning pro. But when I got that, I got a much much heavier rod, which uh, with a whole bunch of gear in line. So let me show you what that one looks like. It is more equipped. I had actually picked set one which was I, I used over in uh, Slovakia. A lot smaller. This one, however, different story. We've got a rod that's 16 pound test, a reel that's 39 pound test, a uh, floral line, 18.74 pound, 17.64 pound liter. Yeah, this is going to hold up a heck of a lot better. I apologize for that mistake, but honestly, like I said, it's been such a while since I played i would forgotten. I'm going to come out here a little bit further into the actual water. And we're going to try this with an appropriate rod. And the drag is... Another thing is the drag was set way, way up for some reason. And I think I need to take that way down. Let's take it down about 36. So that's where my problem lied. It was already pushed way, way the heck up. And if I need to set the drag a little bit, I'm going to set it right at 40%, but you can do that with the middle key. Now, I, again, like I said, it's been a while since I've been here, and you forget stuff. If you don't use it, you lose it, that's for damn sure. But I saw something that looked like a really big eel. There it is. Look at that eel. I really want that eel. It's a bunch of eels, actually. Yeah, I was a little disappointed to get the sturgeon in the first place because I wanted to get something new. But if I remember correctly, those eels do go for a specific type of lure. Yeah, I'm going to reel it all the way in because just look, look, look there. Look, look. Aw, oh, man. Sorry, dude. You missed out. You weren't quick enough. You gonna hang out with me there? You gonna be my buddy? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> friendly fish, must must say. Robin, very friendly fish. Yeah, let me see which one that was too. And it was, it was that asp lure. Wasn't the Robinson fighter? I don't even see it. Do I still have it? Here it is. Robinson Aspoon. That was the one they went for when I was over in the actual canal. So let's see if they'll still go for it here in the ocean. Yeah, because I really want one of those guys. Those guys are cool as hell. There's plenty of them swimming around. I've seen like three or four of them already, and doesn't seem to be a shortage of them. Now I just got to get one interested. There we go. 
And looks like we got us a trout of some kind. It is a sea trout. Nice little sea trout, but he still brings in 71.64 cash. Not bad. Let's try that again. I'm going to try several different lures here. I'm going to try this one for a few a few tries. And if I just keep getting the trout, I'll switch over to maybe the There is another spoon. I can't I think it's I can't remember what it's called exactly. I'll I'll show you here in a minute. It worked really well for just about everything in Slovakia. Okay, there's a Wells catfish. I'm going to need to watch the tension on him because he's... Can't tell just how big he is. He doesn't look like he's enormous, but... Still, they can get that way, as you well know. Nah, he's not real big. 6.66 pounds. He's just a baby. I'm going to let him go. Let him grow. Let him grow. Yeah, we might be getting smaller fish because of this. This is not the biggest lure. Yeah, I think I'm going to change lures here again, guys. This is the one I'm talking about. It's called the Robinson Trophy, 14 grams. And there's two of them that are similar to each other. One looks like this, and I forget the other one. I think it might be green in coloration. But this really did well for a variety of trout species. I'm just kind of curious if it's going to do the same for these for these eels, maybe. If we can't get them with this, I am going to probably resort to float fishing because I really want to get an eel so you guys can see one. There's another sturgeon. I might take the speed down. It seems to be a little on the fast side. There we go. Now what is that? There's an interesting looking fish. Is that a barracuda? Uh, I think that's a Xander. Yeah, I think that's a Xander. Okay, we can bump up the drag a little bit. Now, if you're going to bump up the jack drag, I would use the plus keys. It does take it up in increments of 10, but trying to switch back and forth between those keys. He is a big fella. He is a big fella. Yeah, I've got this maxed out. And he is giving me a pretty good fight. time to do some real fighting here guys alright let's bump up the tension just a tad oh wow he could be my personal best here guys put the drag up just a little bit more. Not too much. There we go. I think we're making some headway now. You're making some headway now. Alright. He was a... Ooh. Yep, he is a personal best. 10.64. I thought so. That's a very nice Xander. He's very nice, but look, he's still only one star. They go up to five stars, so... Wow. 
how much bigger do they come? Jeez. Well, that got me something on the events here. Looks like I caught a fish. If any species that weighs at least 8.82 pounds. Now, 39.68 pounds of rainbow trout and 22 minutes on any fishing ground. I don't think there's any rainbow trout here, though. Well, if I ever figure out which key I need to get back, it's F3, that's right. Okay, well, we're going to try this one again because that got us something totally different. Like I said, if, whoa, we've got the speed. Let's take the drag down, too. Somehow I got the speed all the way bumped up here. Yeah, 16. Holy crap! <laughs> I hadn't even had a chance to get it off the bottom for happy pants there. Took it. What is that? Is that a sea bass? I think it might be a sea bass. Fairly decent sea bass. Come on. Oh, you're going to be a butt, huh? Okay, we're going to bump up that drag just a bit. There we go. We're making some headway now. Now, see, he keeps trying to take it down to the bottom. He is a, he's a feisty little guy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we're going to yank your head off if we have to. <laughs> come on, you know, you want to come in. You want everybody to see you. Come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Come on. European bass. Yeah, okay. And he, of course, is a new personal record. 135 cash. 6.30 pounds. Yeah, we haven't even really done much over here. There's other areas on this. Let's just give you an idea here. Let me um, let me go ahead and put that away here. Yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can walk all along here. And I'm going to check out some of the scenery. I wonder if you could look at the lighthouse and all this stuff. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. I will say one thing for this game. It's got some of the most picturesque scenes here. That would make for a great thumbnail. I've been doing mostly shots of fish as opposed to the scenery. Nope, you can't go over there. That's too bad. That is absolutely beautiful. I love the lighthouse. We got the boats. I'm not even sure what the heck that is. Yeah, let's try over here for a minute anyway. I don't know how deep in the water you can actually go, but it looks like she almost, honest to God, starts to swim a little bit. I'm out here quite a ways. Yeah, I think that's about as far as you can go. When she starts splashing, that means she isn't going to go any further. But let's see here. I'm going to try my luck again here. Wait a minute. Do I have a... Oh, I don't even have the good set. No wonder this has been giving me such a fight. Unclaimed award. Ah! Okay, there's my reward. That's cool. Just got 65 cash for completing that. Well, I'll tell you what. I might actually, since I'm having trouble figuring out how to let go of that particular lure, which I think I have to probably do a reset, which I really don't want to do. Yeah. That'll put everything where it's supposed to be. I might try this minnow here. Let's 
see what goes for it. This is one of the ones that came with the Pro Spinning set. Wow, that's quite a cast. <laughs> I mean, I'm all the way to the boat, but I think this works a lot like a crankbait. And something is definitely... No? Oh, yeah, he is. There he is. Boom, another Xander. All right. Well, we've got two Xanders so far. Now, since I'm using set three, I should have very little problem bringing him in. Especially if I put the drag up just a little bit more. if he broke my other record. Yep, he did. At 12.45 pounds. 96.10. It's a nice fish. Still only one star. My god, how big do they have to be to be more than that? Hmm. One star. That's just crazy, guys. Five star must be a stinking horse. <laughs> I mean, jeez. I mean, really? How big is one of five star fish? Five star fish. That looked like a flatfish to me, but I'm not sure. There is European flounder, but he didn't seem to be all that interested. Yeah, I don't think I have anybody interested in that. And so far, the only thing it's gone for it's been Xander. So, yeah, I don't know. Now, I'm sure trout species are going to go for these bugs. I was going to use this, but if, I don't know if you remember, but I put it on the wrong rod. We'll try that again using this rod and see if maybe those eels are interested. If they're not, I am going to change over to the float rod and try something that I know they're going to go for, like cut bait or something. Eels cannot resist cut bait. And I think they go for live minnows too. I'm not sure if I have access to the live minnows yet though. But we're going to see if anything goes for this thing again. Is this like a drop off here or something? Okay, the underwater structures look really screwed up right now for some reason. Well, I tell you, there's Xander out the wazoo out here. <laughs> lots and lots of Xander. That'd be a good title. Xander out the wazoo. Yeah, when I came out here off screen, I wasn't catching them. So maybe I was doing it at a different time. Not that they're not bringing me plenty of XP and cash, but there are some species that even the little ones bring you a lot of cash. Alright, let's see what this guy is. He's an 11 pounder, somewhere in the middle of the last two. Alright, we're gonna try one. I don't know, let me wait a minute. Let me see, what do we got on our float rod here? We got an 8. Meh. Probably ought to take that down to a 4. Got the river waggler four three. This could probably handle an eel without any problem. 
Why did it not change? Okay. Okay, there it goes. Well, I don't know. I'm a little afraid that might be too big, but we're going to use it for now, I guess. We've got a float waggler. I don't know if there's a current out here, so I might just leave that be. And let's see, we've got what goes for shrimp? Perch, chub, and carp. Do I have cut bait? That's There's the question. Casters, cheese, bread. Uh, it's not looking like I have a whole lot of... They might go for the shrimp. I mean, they do on the fishing planet. I don't know why they wouldn't here. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's put the shrimp on there. If nothing goes for it, we'll try something else. That's all we can do. Not oh God, you gotta be kidding me. Forgot to switch rods, sorry about that. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, you gotta you gotta hit the right number. I hope that's not out too far. Well, that looks enticing and seems like shrimp would be a natural bait for, you know, sea-going species. Thing is, I don't see any... I don't see any eels. Yeah. I'm sorry, in real life, just about every damn thing in there would be going for this. Not just carp and chub. Alright, let's do this. Let's go to the shop. Let's go to Bates. Let's go to Natural, and let's see, we've got... Okay, we've got Shrimp. Okay, what about Leeches? Chub, Ass, Catfish, Barbels, and a Burbot, and sometimes Perch, Bream, and even Silver Bream. So... Snail. Snail. Eel. Okay, there's one that's definitely for eels. We can't get them yet. Bleak. That goes for Xander, Aspen, Chub, Liver, Crucian, Carp, Roach, and even Tench. Doesn't say anything about eels going for any of this stuff. Chub, bass, salmon, trout, catfish, and many other species for the dragonfly. <sighs> well, it's not looking good. Earthworm. Yeah, I don't see anything in particular that is centered on the eels. Except one I don't have access to until level 20. So I think we might, honest to God, be limited to using lures here, guys. Which is fine. But I am going to switch back over to that ass spoon, because I did catch one off the ass spoon. I'm going to give it one more shot. But there's another peg here, guys, that's... I believe on the ocean and we're gonna give that a look-see haven't been there yet so that's gonna be all new for me I really want to get you guys an eel ooh man now, I did not expect Sturgeon to go for that, honestly. 
Looks like I'm scraping him along the bottom. Yeah, I'm a little excited about getting up a, l a few levels too, because it's going to open up a lot more baits. Especially the live baits. Yeah, he's not any kind of world record or anything. In fact, he's so little. Just gonna let him go. Yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about on this map here. Let's see, how do I get to the map? That's not it. Here it is. M for map, duh. Okay. Yeah, right over here. This point number five. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Hopefully, we can get over it. And I think you can walk over here from where I was at, but it takes a lot longer. But yeah, you can definitely get right on the ocean here, guys. Check this out. And fish off the rocks. Ooh, I bet that's a good spot right there. I really bet that's a good spot. What is that? God, there's so many cool things to look at. Look at the Viking ship. <laughs> oh, and check this out. I bet that's a good spot too. Right from this 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 rock. This is a good good fishing spot, I bet you. Well, let's see what we can do. What can we start with, guys? Let's go to our set here. We've got the ass spoon. Do you want to start with that? Might as well, I guess. Got a lot of things we can try. No idea what's out there. Do know this much it's very, very deep. So it could be just about anything. I'm getting some spawning just ahead of me. He looks interested. It was a... It was a sturgeon. There's a lot of fish out there. He looked interested and then he just went, went for a dive. Ah, uh, had a latecomer. Yeah, I think what I might try is over that way, but this time I am going to try the Suskus. I had to buy another one since I lost it. Yeah, I want you guys to see it is possible to break your gear. You really do have to be careful good thing is is that there's so much cash floating around for various things it's usually pretty easy to, re to replace it so it might be a little tougher to do with a rod like this one I've got but most of the gear is pretty easy to replace yeah this looks like a wounded fish which I definitely can see why they're attracted to Okay, that fish is interested. And boom! What is that? Is that another sea trout? I think it might be. I think it is another sea trout. And he's a fairly big one, so this could bring some good cash here. Come on, fish. Yeah, he is coming in very slowly, but he is coming in. I've had to put up with a few fights. 
that's gonna give somebody who's got epilepsy a, a seizure if I'm not careful. Jesus. All that flashing. Okay, let's see how big this fella is. Atlantic Salmon, I'm sorry. I am completely wrong, but yeah, 137 cash. That's a nice fish. He's only a one star. He's only a one star, that's it. Amazes me that that is considered a small one. Let's see what's over here, guys. I am. There's just all kinds of cool stuff to fish over here. Yeah, against this wall looks like really. What could be at the bottom of that wall? That's what I want to see. What's at the bottom of this wall? Oh, got hooked on the ground. Let's reel it real fast and it'll drop in. There we go. Let's see what's down at the base of that wall. God only knows. See, I would think there'd be some Wells catfish down there. That's kind of what I was hoping. There we go. That was interesting. I think that might be a sea trout, but I'm not 100% certain. Looks a lot like a brown trout, doesn't it? And there we go. Yep, sea trout. They look a lot like brown trout when they're underwater. 157. Yeah, the sea trout, they bring some pretty good cash. Yeah, there's another one. See that gar right there? It's over on the bottom. Just below the lure. There. Phew. Sturgeon. Sturgeon, sturgeon, sturgeon. Oh, what the hell? I'll be damned. He broke it off on that rock. He sure as hell did. Okay, let's see. Incomplete set. What did he break? He did break the rod. Okay, it should be alright now. Damn, that's another one of those I lost. That's alright. Thinking about switching over to that anyway. And I was also thinking about coming over to here, seeing what lies over in this, this wall. I wonder if you can go out on the wall itself. Of course it did. Yeah, I'm not 100% certain, but I think that fish actually got hooked on that rock. I mean, it, can that happen in this game? I didn't think it could, but... That was kind of blatant. There we go, we got us another sea trout. And he's big. Yeah, he is big. This is a this is a big sea trout. 
he could get us some good cash. Yeah, there's another one. This seems to be a sea trout hotspot. Since that may be the case, I've definitely got to keep this spot in mind because I do need to get a lot of cash. He's not a personal best, but he's up there. 158.09, 16 pounds. Yeah, if I'm going to need cash, this could be a good spot for that. Let me come over here. Oh, good, I can get up here. So I can fish either side of this too. Now what is over here? Is this another trout spot or is this something else entirely? Actually I think this is more down the canal. Let's let this sink this time. Just a little bit. It's down to about 21 feet. Yeah, I think this is down the canal a little bit. It's not pointed towards the ocean. So we could get... Yep, it is a trout spot. It is a trout spot. So this is the Sea Trout Bridge. Yeah, let's bring this fella in. So I was getting him on both sides of this. This bridge. Yeah, I'm not really taking the drag up too much more because I've already already broken some of my gear twice. I don't need to keep doing it. There we go. 180 cash. Yeah, this would be a great, great spot to, to grind for cash. Yeah, I think I might switch over to this lure too. I want to see they go for the bugs. I think the sea trout do. I know the salmon do. We'll see if the trout do. Haven't tried a top water lure out here yet. Okay, I think the speed might be alright. Now we're not going to see as much this time because again it's on the top. be a son of a gun. <laughs> oh, that was unexpected. I was fully expecting a trout to come get it. And I better watch him. He could pull the same trick his buddy did earlier. There's a lot of things to hook it on. I was not expecting a, a sturgeon to go for that. He is really strong. This is a big one. You see how that one spawned right there where the bubbles were? You actually got to see that happen up close that time, so that's what I'm talking about. You see the bubbles? A lot of times if you see bubbles and you've got a lure out there, that means a fish may be spawning in that's going to go for your lure or your bait. There's a Wells catfish. We got quite a few species out here. This is really a highly diverse ecosystem going on here. All right, come on, big fella. 
We know you don't want to be caught. In fact, I'm probably going to need to get a little bit closer. Yep. 359 XP. Yeah, they give you their cash is not seriously high, but their XP is very high. And right now I do need some XP, so we'll keep him. I don't know, honestly. 639. Look at the difference. I get 200 more XP if I release him. Yeah, let's let him go. He's only a one star. Nut. No reason to keep him if he's gonna give me more XP. Still want to see if the bass are gonna go for that. I really want to know. Not the bass, the trout. Okay, I got my speed down to 18. Yeah, this is going to have to be our last cast out here, guys. This, epi this episode's already gotten a little bit long, but having a lot of fun here. I'm learning a few things about these different pegs. There's a sturgeon down below me. Might end up getting another one. <laughs> yeah, I think what I might do before I leave, too, I might pop around some of these pegs and just get a good look around at what the surroundings are <coughs> yep no takers that time I think I might try that ass spoon one more time I'm going to cast it right where I saw the thing splashing. Yeah, you definitely can get hooked. Ugh, you damn Xander. <laughs> Damn you, Xander! Okay, let's see here. He ain't gonna be that hard to get. Yeah, it's probably enough for one day. I will eventually get you all an eel. To... But for now... How much XP? See, releasing him doesn't give me much XP. He's better for the cash. Like I said, let's see here. We're going to take a look at the map here. Now that's where we are now. Over here. Now this is the opposite bank where I was at that one time. Over here is a lot of wells, catfish, sea trout, Atlantic salmon, asps. Just a myriad of diversity. And seven. This kind of takes us at the opposite end of things over here. This is much further down the canal. So we may get a higher concentration of some of the freshwater species out that direction. Plus the pretty balloons. 
Anyway, it's extremely, extremely difficult for me not to continue fishing. This gets so addictive so quick, and you could do this for hours and hours and hours. But, like I said, I think this would be another good spot to check in the next episode. See what the heck's out that way. I'm sure they're going to be a lot more freshwater related. But anyway, guys, time has run way, way out. I'm going to run over again. I'm always making these kind of long. I do apologize for that. But like I said, you get, you just get playing. You want to keep doing and keep doing and keep doing. But as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.